hello and welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell by the title i'm going to be dyeing my hair pink so we're going to be dyeing my hair cotton candy pink so this is the color right here i bought this from like kmart for like eight dollars i think this is a semi-permanent dye so it's meant to last eight washes and then come out hopefully it doesn't stain my hair because that's what i'm scared of if you guys haven't watched my previous video i did cut my hair short if you want to watch it i'll link it right here so this is the color of my hair currently so it's like quite dark at the roots and then a lot lighter on the ends directions for use a skin sensitivity test and a strand test should be undertaken before each application read instructions carefully yeah, we're not going to do that today. Okay, it says here, shampoo and towel dry hair, apply colour and leave on for 2-15 to 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to quickly jump in the shower now and wash my hair and then we can get to colouring. Okay, so I just hopped out of the shower, I'm just brushing out my hair. I just have an old jacket on just so I don't stain my clothes or my skin. I'm going to chuck on the gloves and then start putting the dye in my hair. I might separate my hair into two oh, just to make sure I don't miss any pieces of hair. Oh, shit. Looks like Play Doh. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and just. goes patchy I'm gonna cry I swear I'm gonna miss some parts oh my god okay I definitely should have got my second packet My hair's still quite dark, so I don't even know if the colour's going to show a lot. I'm not putting much on my roots just because it won't do anything anyway since the roots of my hair are black. I'm putting it more on the areas that I've already dyed. out of dye. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's already like <clears throat> turning pink. Okay, now we are completely out of dye. I'm going to take off my gloves and I'm going to set a timer. So it says here to leave it for so it says in the instructions if I want the colour to be more translucent to leave it for 2 minutes, if I want it more subtle to leave it for 3 to 10 minutes, for intense leave it 10 to 15 minutes and for ultra bright leave it for up to 30 minutes. So I'm going to leave it for, oh my god I can already tell it's going to be patchy as fuck. It's looking kind of cute though. Yeah. I'm going to set my alarm for 20 minutes. See how it goes. How's the back looking? Oh, I hope it's not patchy. See you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, this is what it's looking like after I just rinsed it out. It's a little pink. You could also see it's still a little brown as well. I'm gonna give it a quick blow dry see the final results. Okay, so 
So this is the final result. Doesn't look horrible, but at the same time, it's really patchy. Like, if you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but these areas aren't as bright as these ones. There's a lot of areas that just went kind of brown. Okay, I'm gonna go to the supermarket and I'm going to buy a second box. And I'm gonna do it again, but I'm not gonna film it. I'll film the end results though and just show you guys the after of putting a second box through. But this is how it's looking. It's not super pink and I honestly feel like it's gonna like wash out after like one wash. Cause it's already like, there's hardly anything left in it. You can tell better in this lighting how patchy it is. You guys can't tell. It's definitely so patchy in the back. I missed so many areas. It doesn't look horrible. I would have loved it if it was a lot more brighter and if it was actually through all my hair. So yeah, I definitely think I'm either going to go today or tomorrow to the supermarket and get a second box of dye and then I'm just going to try even it out well that's gonna be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe i upload a new video every wednesday and sunday at 6 p.m so don't miss those um but yeah i will see you guys next week bye